Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Today I will be teaching you how you can earn money from Binance. First of all, you have to go to go to the Play Store and type Binance. As I have already installed Binance, I will open it. You can install it and after that you will see this kind of home page where at the bottom you can see market button trades futures and wallets the first thing that you have to do is to register on the Binance for registration first you have to click on the home and after that you can see login or register button at the top left corner after clicking you have to press register button on the right side now you have to give your full detail about your country about your contact email and all other credentials which the Binance have will demand from you after registration you have to verify your account for the verification purpose you have to give the picture of your ID card or passport then Binance will verify your account after verification the main business on this app is to buy and sell coins you have to buy a coin when it is in dip dip means when it is of low price after buying when the price goes up you can sell it and take your profit out of the Binance app in your local currency in this tutorial I will teach you basics that how can you put your money in the Binance app and invest in some coin after <coughs> verification of your account you will have to put your money into P2P account first of all I will tell you what is P2P account you have to press the center button trades and there will you see convert spot margin fiat and P2P you have to click on P2P here this is the main page here you can buy and sell all your money like you you have you can submit uh, you can you can deposit your local currency here and you can buy USDT the main trade coin on uh, this platform is USDT uh, you can put your USDT you can buy USDT from your local currency and deposit in Binance after that you will have your USDT in P2P but you can't trade you can't buy a coin in P2P for that purpose you have to transfer your money from P2P wallet to spot wallet when you <coughs> for that purpose you have to go into the spot wallet and press the button USDT plus as I have not logged in my account I am not seeing that page from that uh, when you will log in you will see a page where you can transfer your assets from P2P wallet to spot wallet now here you will see your available USDT and you can buy any coin for that uh, for that purpose you can tap the top left corner where you are seeing the BTC USDT here you will see the list of coins you wanna buy you can buy any coin and that depends on your research for that purpose you have to learn some basic techniques and fundamentals the fundamentals include the latest news about the cryptocurrency and the tweets of the influential persons and the, and the technical analysis include the chart reading and other indicators it's a quite complex process you will learn step by step when your coin goes high and you have to make some profit then you have to press on the sell button and sell your all coin and you will get USDT more USDT like if you invested 10 and your price go and your coin goes up and up then you will uh, have the profit of $10 and you wanna withdraw that $20 of assets for that purpose you have to transfer your spot USDT into the P2P and from the P2P you can sell when you click on the cell 
uh, it will ask whether you want to sell your USDT, BTC or BUSD or BNB or whatever as we are having 20 USDT to sell we will click on the any exchanges and sell our crypto into local currency you can take your withdraw from the bank account and other selling your coin in the profit is very important task without that you can't make a penny so for that you have to learn how you can put your sell order when you click on the sell button and you see below there are four options limit market stop limit and OCO OCO is a quite complex technique but we will talk about the limit market and stop limit in this video first of all we will discuss discuss the limit order in the limit order you can adjust your selling price which is above than your market price like if you put limit order and you want the current rate of BTC is 62 and if you want to sell if you want that when the Bitcoin reach 72 you are all BTC are sold even when you're not online or not having mobile you can put this option limit and type your price and click on 100 or the amount you want to sell and click on the sell button your order will be placed in open orders and when the price touches 72 all your BTC will automatically sold and you will get a lot of profit now we'll discuss the second option that is market when you price mark when you put the market order it means you are going to sell your PTC on the current market rate here on the right side in the center you can see the current market rate of BTC if you sell your BTC at this time you can sell at an 62856.95 dollars so if you want to sell your BTC or any coin at market level then you have to put this kind of order the next order is stop limit it is very important to cover up your loss it's important when your coin is dumping dumping means when its price is going down so if you put stop limit you can see it simply as a stop loss it will stop your loss it will minimize your loss in this kind of order you put some values here if the price of BTC reach on the 50 50,000 then your coin will automatically be sold so that it can print prevent you from the further falling and more loss so to cover up to minimize the loss you can put stop limit or stop loss order here are the three important sell orders and similar and the same goes for the buy orders you can do same limit order market order and stop limit this is same for selling and buying these are three orders that you must understand at last i will tell you something about the two kinds of trades one is spot trading and other is future trading in spot trading you can trade with total amount you have in your wallet like if you are having hundred dollar in spot you can trade with hundred dollar you can take profit and loss with hundred dollar but but the other trading feature is futures account here you can put margin the margin means if you are having hundred dollar and you put the margin of 5x you can take your profit and loss with the amount of five hundred dollar despite you are having only hundred dollar it's a quite complex process but you will know it step by step and and you will be, be you will you will become familiar with it very well and the other thing is markets here is the markets button I'm pressing it and you will see 
all the coins of spot and future here <coughs> uh, you can see soul luna ftm all the coins there are in great profit uh, the numbers the numbers in the green show that the, this coin is in profit in the last 24 hours like if we take example of the soul bnb pair the soul is in 6% profit in last 24 hours when you click on that coin you see a chart here I'm having an attitude that's why it's taking a time and loading yeah, here you can see the chart you can adjust the settings to read the chart it's basically include the technical analysis whether the price will go down or up here you can place buy or sell order you can see in the bottom on the left is the currency button and here is the alert button it's very important you can put alert for your coin if uh, now the soul is on 0 0.4254 if you say if you want to set an alert you can put 0 0.5 as the alert when the price will touch 0 0.5 the Binance will alert you and you can take your trade here you can see futures all the coin here and, ho and a home button there is a, another beautiful feature of the Binance here you can see hot gainers loser and volume these, these are quite necessary if you are a trader the gainers are in the profit in last 24 hours you can see the lazio it is in 31 percent profit in last 24 hours and you will see loser the top loser is oax btc pair it is in 16 percent loss in last 24 hours here we we'll see the volume button it's a quite complex complex thing and you would learn it with time here you can see the wallets i i have not logged in but in the wallet you can see your current assets like uh, how much us dollar or how, how much any coin you're holding in spot or futures or in p2p it will give the quite complete analysis of your of your current portfolio so that's all about the today lecture and we will be back with an another video don't forget to sub subscribe us thank you